Good afternoon, everyone. We are live this afternoon. I want uh, us to get our Bibles. And uh, prepare our hearts for the word this afternoon. And probably some of you, you will watch this after the streaming. We pray that this will speak to your hearts. If, if you have your Bibles with you, please turn with me to Romans chapter 8, verse 35. I think Romans chapter 8 is one of the most familiar uh, passages and chapters of the scriptures. The book of Romans is a very rich book that was written by the Apostle Paul. And I believe that God will speak to us this afternoon. In verse 35, we read, it says here, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? And I want us to stay in that question for a moment. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? What are the things that would be able to, uh, you know, uh, separate us from His love? In the original Greek, it says, What shall divorce us from the love of Christ? And this is where I want to focus this afternoon. I want to focus on the love of God. And I pray that this afternoon your heart would be encouraged. That you would be reminded of the wonderful love of God. But in order for us to fully understand this, the background of this particular chapter was the Apostle Paul is talking about the coming glory. That the sufferings that we are experiencing right now is, is nothing compared to the wonderful glory that will be revealed upon us. That, the, that God has given us the Holy Spirit to strengthen us. That the Holy Spirit helps us with our weaknesses. And that if God is for us, then who can be against us? That God has counted us sons and daughters through the powerful work of the cross of Jesus. And as children of God, all things work together for our good. Not just for us. But so that we can be conformed into the image of Jesus. God has a purpose for you. 
He has a wonderful destiny for your life. And that is for the, the, the character of Christ to be conformed in your life. That's why despite of whatever challenges we are facing, there is always a reason to rejoice. Amen? Just like in the book of Corinthians, it says, Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet every day we are being renewed day by day. Nothing shall separate us, nothing shall divorce us from the love of Christ. It means nothing can legally separate us from what Christ has done on the cross. If you are a disciple of Jesus, you are legally adopted into the family of God. And now we experience the love of the Father. And nothing and no one shall be able to separate us from that love. The Father loves you so much. Because He is glorified in loving us. His love, you know, gives us purpose. Now going back to verse 35 of Romans chapter 8. Let me read it again. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? How many of you are experiencing tribulation right now? We don't know the situation of other brothers and sisters around the world, but maybe some of them are experiencing tribulation. How many of you are in distress? How many of you experience persecution? How many of you doesn't have enough food? He goes on, nakedness, peril, or sword. I would be a liar if I would say that I wasn't affected emotionally throughout this pandemic. There were moments in, in, uh, during this pandemic that I felt so distressed. And sometimes I feel the, the anxious thoughts are flooding my mind. If you are experiencing that today, don't lose hope. Because these things are not meant to separate us from the love of Christ. If you are experiencing hardships in life, it doesn't mean that God doesn't love you anymore. 
In fact, those challenges are meant to reveal the wonderful love of the Father. That as we choose to move forward, as we choose to put our faith on Him, He will show Himself faithful as well. But why is it that some brothers and sisters, you know, they separate themselves when they are in this difficult situation? Maybe it, what they're experiencing right now is really difficult. Or maybe no one encourages them. Or maybe no one prays for them. That's why community is very important nowadays. That as followers of Jesus, we need to reach out to others as well and pray for them. To encourage them and to love them. We are to be God's expression of love in this earth. Nothing will be able to separate us from the love of Christ. Always remember that. God loves you. He still loves you. You just need to receive that love. Amen. Amen. In verse 37, it says, Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. We are more than conquerors. We are victorious because of Him who loved us. Because everything I mentioned earlier, Jesus experienced that on the cross. Tribulation, distress, persecution, and so on and so forth. Jesus experienced all of that on the cross. That's why as we put our faith on the finished work of the cross, we are counted as more than conquerors. Whenever we face a difficult situation, remember this. We are not just waiting to be victorious. We are already victorious. The pain and the suffering is not how we measure our victory. Because pain and suffering is temporary. But the wonderful character that is being built in our lives is forever. Our attitude when we face difficult challenges in our lives. Uh, and as we fall in love with God more and more, we would trust His heart. Amen. 
You know, when when uh, just to give you an example. For example, Nekru Jet will ask for the keys of one of the motorbikes here at the base. I don't need to know everything that that she will do on that motorbike because I know Nekru Jet. I don't know, I don't need to know all of the details because I trust her. In the same way, everything that we're experiencing right now may, may not make sense to you, but if you trust God, you will just, you know, put your faith on Him. You don't need to know the details. Because he has already given us the answer. Nothing shall separate us from the love of Christ. We are more than conquerors. Amen. Now as we wrap up this message, let me read to you verse 38 and 39. It says here, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The Apostle Paul said that he is persuaded, meaning he is convinced. Let me ask you this afternoon, are you fully convinced that nothing shall be able to separate you from the love of God? Because sometimes when situations are hard, we go to God and say, Lord, do you still love me? Or maybe we say, God, are you punishing me? No, God is not punishing you. You need to be convinced that nothing shall be able to separate you from the love of God. The Apostle Paul said, no, no other created thing shall be able to separate me from the love of Christ. I am a child of God. I am a conqueror. And I am convinced. Three confessions that you need to confess day after day. First, you need to be convinced. And, and if you're not, you should be a child of God. How will you know that if you're that you're a child of God? The Spirit of God lives on the inside of you, meaning you're not on your own. You don't make your own decisions.
There is a growing consciousness of sin, meaning you don't enjoy sin anymore. If you experience that on a regular basis, you are a child of God. Second, you are more than a conqueror. You are victorious. You are called to conquer that mountain that is in front of you. You know, whenever I go biking and I look at the road that I need to, to travel, it's easy to be discouraged if you see that the road. But if you change your mindset and think that I am made to conquer that road, then you would be able to conquer that road. That's why you need to be convinced. I am a child of God. I am a conqueror. I am convinced. This is how we experience the love of God. Yes, we are called to be intimate with God, but if we don't understand His love, then we have a problem. I pray that your spirit would be strengthened with all might as we discover this wonderful love of God. Let me just add this uh, passages from Ephesians chapter 3. I will read first all in English, then uh, Sister Mary would uh, read it in Kamai. Let me start with verse 14, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14. It says, For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that He would grant you according to the riches of His glory to be strengthened with might, through His Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend all the saints, with all the saints, what is the width, the length, the depth, the height, to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. ខ្ញុំសូមអាចជួនៅក្នុងអេពីសូជំពោះទី៣ខតទី៣ដល់ខតទី៣ជាប្រភពនៃក្រុមគ្រួសារទាំងអស់ទាំងនៅខាងបរ
cause us to understand about your love, O oh God. That in every season you love us, O oh God. That nothing will be able to separate us, God, from your love. Help us, God, to be convinced of this. Thank you, Lord.